This is not only absurd, but it's highly inappropriate. In light of recent events such as the Chardon High School shooting in February, which left three students dead and three others injured. This terrible tragedy was the deadliest school shooting in the U.S. since 2005. And to parade about a fundraiser where campaign supporters can shoot semi-automatic, automatic weapons for pleasure is distasteful and offensive to the memory of those students who were senselessly killed. The Chardon High School shooting isn't an isolated incident. Hang on a second. <laughs> you take your time. That'll remind me to turn mine off. The Chardon High School shooting isn't an isolated incident. Last month, a gunman at an Oakland, California Christian University stormed a classroom where he lined up seven students against a wall and killed them one by one, execution style. And I'm sure you're all aware of the death of Trayvon Martin, a 17-year-old young man gunned down in Florida that set off a firestorm debate about the legality of stand your, ground laws, stand your ground laws across the nation. These acts of violence are serious problems begging to be addressed. Here in Ohio, we still have a gun show loophole that allows criminals to purchase firearms at gun shows without undergoing a background check. Representative Hurd has sponsored, and I co-sponsored, House Bill 263, legislation that would close this gun show loophole and keep our communities safer without infringing on anyone's Second Amendment rights. However, rather than spending our time, resources, and taxpayer money to address the issues that really matter, restoring the devastating budget cuts to schools and local communities, for example, Republicans have continuously prioritized appeasing those who are fixated on allowing guns in daycare centers and churches. The safety and of our kids and neighborhoods has become a mere afterthought. In this gem General Assembly alone, we've seen at least nine separate bills that pose a danger to public safety, referenced in a handout which is available. To summarize a few of the more egregious examples, House Bill 45, which you're all familiar with, signed into law, allows guns in bars and any other liquor serving establishment such as restaurants, shopping malls, and museums. House Bill 54, also signed into the law, allows for felons with certain misdemeanor convictions to apply for gun permits. House Bill 256 would, per would permit gun holders to carry their guns without having to carry their license and removes a requirement for gun holders to inform approaching police officers that they are carrying a weapon. House Bill 256 also allows for guns in churches, daycare centers, courthouses, law enforcement offices, and correctional facilities. It's time for the General Assembly to get its priorities in order. We should be in the business of making it harder for criminals to possess guns than easier. I urge my colleagues to join me in moving forward with legislation that will keep our kids and communities safe. And just in the nick of time is uh, my colleague, Representative Tracy Hurd, which will speak about the gun show loophole.